I've got an interesting little Reddit for you today. Um, I debated on doing this, but, but then I saw who was on here talking, and I thought it was really kind of cool. So, once I get to where I'm where I'm who I'm talking about, I will let you know. <laughs> so this is a Reddit. It's YouTuber Jay Embry releases full video where he lays out his full white supremacist gang retribution theory on the drug mules who turned into informants, two of which are two fourths of the Idaho Four victims. Rather than cartel hit, this crime could be a hit from much further down the chain. Speculation. So Fort Charles, here, this guy, girl, whoever it is, I'm assume, assuming it's a guy, is very cool. I have liked this person. Every one of their comments, anytime, anywhere, has always been very thoughtful, thought out, um, fair, and informative. Um, all, all, just good, period. Just good. So kudos to you, Fort Charles. I I enjoy reading your 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 answers, your inquiries, your quest you know questions, everything. So so Fort Charles says, interesting. I just like to see this laid out with all documentation and sourcing in a readable format. The graphics get the gist of the theory access, but some of us like to dig into data facts. If he's correct, this deserves as a much more documented methodical treatment. Yeah, and some of his graphics are okay, but need a little polish, etc. He strikes me as a guy who does most of his uploading from his phone and went above and beyond to even capture the graphics somehow. I wish someone would would I wish someone more astute and experienced with video editing could reach out to him and get all of this documented better. I've seen a few of his videos, but only watched ones, but only watched when I was really bored due to the production value. But it's getting better in recent months. He also strikes me as a potentially ex or current law enforcement, potential correction officer or DEA, but could be could just be a hunch. It's in how he carries himself. So Fort Charles replies with, "Yeah, it, might, it may very well just be a presentation issue. I don't know, but." Between the sketchy graphics, lack of sources cited, and his fast talking, glossing over delivery, he's not doing his theory any justice. Video, in, gen in general, isn't the best format for something like this. This is compelling enough that it deserves a long blog post where it's met methodically laid out with all sourcing, attributed, logic detailed, and graphic cleared up with no details glossed over. I did a little, I did do a little research, and apparently TF was picked up again in Washington in September of 2023, and is now serving a one-year sentence in Idaho. Apparently both his, his September 2022 Moscow arrest and his August 2023 rural, rural Whitman County arrest came after he was found slumped at the wheel of the car, of his car. Not sure where he was between, between not sure where he was between being rearrested in December 22 and August of 23. Yeah, this is one this is one of my beefs with um with Idaho is they let out these offenders like this, right? This is me talking by the way at this point. They let out these offenders to just roam around and just you know cause whatever they're doing because they're they're bad people, they're not good people, right? That's how I feel about Demetrius. The things that he's done with his own hands, like str strangulation, he's the the R word, you name it. And this guy's still wandering around out and about. No big deal, right? That's how I feel about that stuff. So I so I agree. They let this guy out for a reason, and not a good reason at that, because it's probably something that they wanted done. And so I don't know. It just it's it's one of those things. Anyway. I think you could be the person to put this into text, sourced, researched to figure out if this has legs or it's nonsense. I've seen your in your exquisite sourcing and formatting on prior comments and think you could be the one. I definitely agree with that. Thank you, Ham Sandwich. Because, yeah, Fort Charles is definitely a good thinker there. 
tempting. There are a lot of rabbit holes in this case I wish I had the time to devote to. This one would definitely be a time sink to do right and probably require Embry sharing some sources. I think the informant plea deals, which he labels speculation in his video, but then proceeds to show custody uh, summaries, which he says prove it, might be able to be researched further with, FO, with FOIA requests. Not to, disminish, not to diminish his conclusions, but there could be other reasons for plea deals getting made or sentencing or sentences shortened. So any documentation in court records would be a big deal, one way or another. I think at this point, I can only be involved at the level of finding a data point here or there. It has to be a collaborative effort. And I really don't want to become involved at the level of record requests or accusing anyone. Here, here. So I had, I had not read this whole thing. I just read a little teeny blip at the very beginning, not even that full paragraph at the beginning, before I started doing this in a video form for you guys. And so I'm agreeing. I think that him and Embry should get together and do this. Um, this is only going to benefit Embry and, and us, you know, wanting to know this stuff. And thanks for Ham Sandwich, you know, saying something about this and to Fort Charles. This is really big. It's really big for him to offer too. I mean, to, you know, to, to do something like this, I think anyway. One Time in the West says, I don't know how significant T, F, and T, R are in this theory in general. They might have something to do with this, but even if it's wrong, even if he's wrong about them, the general theory still stands, as in the mothers made plea deals and pissed off people further up the food chain who decided to send a clear message to them and anyone else. I've been watching his videos with some, for some time now, and some of his stuff he made before this timeline series are garbage, but he did shift gears when he started working on the series, and, interesting, and interestingly... I just woke up and I'm so hot right now. I can't even talk. <laughs> but I wanted to get this out there. But And interestingly, some of what he was speculated has later all but been confirmed, such as his, his speculation that L.E. didn't investigate Koberger until the 19th, 20th of December, and his opinion that the informant led L.E. to him. Well, come on, you guys. We've all said that. I mean, Lana said that from the very beginning. I mean, we've... Embry, here's the thing, is that all of us pretty much have touched base on this. And then they've got, we've got the new people coming in who are studying all the stuff that people have put out. And um, so it's not, I'm not going to say this is his, his, he confirmed this stuff. This is not really the case, but I will give him kudos that he put it out there. Fine and dandy. It's all good. But you know, it's, Interesting that, I mean, even even creators that have been around a long time, they are now going through other creators' videos and picking up stuff and and putting it out there, because a lot of, because there's so many people that don't know about this. You know, they're 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 coming in new, and so there's always going to be this information because people are like, well, who's the Idaho for? Blah, blah, blah. And when they jump into like, for instance, say my stuff, there's no way they're going to even know what the hell's going on, because it's just so much. There's just so much of it and it's so much, it's for, so they, I'd have to start at the beginning slowly for these people because there's that much stuff and we all know that, right? So, okay, I had to take a little break for there for a minute. So back to what I was saying, uh, I don't remember the last part, but probably just that the, that a lot of creators have, you know, touched based on this stuff and shown documentation and stuff like that on these things. So... Anyway, let's see. But kudos to him. I mean, I'm glad that everybody's... I'm glad people are putting these things out. Because they need to be um, seen. Especially by people that only watch the mainstream media. It's nuts. Okay, so... Um, doo -doo -doo. So, until the 19th. 20th. December. In, uh, in his opinion, that an informant led Ellie to him. But in the end, it's only a theory... And he's filled the holes with his own speculations that might be wrong. But all of the theories out there, the lone incel, cartel hit, the frat fight, or whatever else is out there, this is the only one that sounds the most plausible to me. I agree, it does sound very plausible. And even if he went off tracks with some of his speculations, I'm willing to be to bet 
my kid's bike that he's still closer to the truth than the frat theory or BK being a lone perpetrator with no motive. I don't think being technically inept devalues his work, but you're right. He should definitely find someone who can put all this together for him in a more visual way. Fort Charles says, he should definitely find someone who can put all this together for him in a more visual way. Right. Not just move, not not just more visual, but more detailed and better documented sourced. And do the research work to fill in holes via records requests and otherwise. There's also so much that can be discovered with Google searches. This 20-minute summary versus is an improvement over having to watch hours and hours of video to arrive at this at the same conclusion, but there's still more work that needs to be done. I wonder if you made contact with the reporter at the Idaho Statesman with the, with the skill to investigate further and present it all, and that would be a viable option. One Time in the West says, it's also, um, the, it's also the way he thinks and reads into documents. He guesses or speculates his guesses or speculations are not based on rumor or 4chan posts, but rather court documents or LE's own words. Well, most of his speculations, the Koberger Kopak connection is pure speculation, but the theory of the plea deal leading to the murders still stands. Scooby Snack. Scooby Snack says, I've been watching him for a bit now as well, and absolutely think he's either ex or current law enforcement myself, 100%. Which is also what I, you know, what I've come kind of thought myself, which leads me to believe that if that is the case, that we're being steered away from something that could possibly be true, like, for instance, the frat fights or whatever, or, you know, that, that whole stuff, that whole thing. But this is very plausible, seriously. It, it, I mean, from the very beginning, I thought that was Kara. Well, <laughs> it just sounds terrible, but I thought it was her at the 1230 Linda Lane thing. It looks just like her, and it still looks the most like her to me than anybody else. Even the way she moved her arms and everything, it was weird. Anyway, so, um, Scooby Snack says, You know, what's interesting about this is that the moment I heard about the two mothers' connections, oh, it's the drugs and plea deals, I wonder if this, if this was retribution for snitching. Some type of drug connection was my th number one theory in the beginning, but found the frat theory fairly compelling for a minute. But I'm coming back around to the drug connection possibility. I watched Jay Embry's original timeline post and thought it was pretty compelling. Ham sandwich. Yeah, same thing. Half the victims having parents with old and recent drug felony s sentences being reduced can't be ignored, I don't think. I had the thought that the brutality of the crime matches a gang or cartel hit since the beginning as well, but couldn't put my finger on it. Ham Sandwich says, still not sure how BK became involved in this whole scenario, but the YouTuber claims in his upcoming videos that the Aryan Knights, Aryan Brotherhood, who he claims is responsible for this, is very good at pointing the finger away from them regarding hits. Take that as you will, of course. This theory, for the most part, checks out based on everything we know so far, as well as the modus operandi of the Aryan Brotherhood. Rather than Halloween, Nightcrawler, or Breaking Bad, this case can very easily be more Sons of Anarchy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Edit. Two of which are two-fourths of the Idaho victims, mother, mother, stepmother. Correct. Yes, I'm glad you did that. Hey, bye. Hey, girl, bye. <laughs> right? And the two people who weren't supposed to be there, but I'm still not set on Kaylee sleeping with Maddie, those pulled back covers. I really think she got up to see what the commotion was and met her demise. I agree. I think the same thing. But or she or she was outside, which I I believe outside is a is a huge possibility because you can hear it. Uh, but I agree. I find this theory very compelling, and I can't ignore the mother stepmother actions and not feel they're they're related that they are related. Ham sandwich. Oh yeah. So there's the picture of um. Yeah, a hundred percent right. Someone says. Okay, so yeah, I agree with pretty much everything they say in here. Um, you know, I'd add to some and take some away but I agree he's doing a good job and I agree he sound he does seem like law enforcement and if that's the case then I fear that he's straying away from the truth which is what they would which at this point is what law enforcement would do because of the prosecution right they're they're out they're out to get um a guilty a guilty you know verdict is what they're out to get and this is one way that they would do it they would infiltrate people in 
you know, to the community, the true crime community. And, you know, like I said, I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying it just feels kind of like there's a little something there. And, of course, and his theories, the timing that he's coming out with these things is also something that needs to be, um, you know, kind of checked into. Maybe like keep it in the back of your mind, you know. But I do agree. I mean, I think how could you overlook that's that's my biggest thing. How could you overlook the fact that two of the mothers have been involved with the law with this type of thing? You can't. You can't ignore that. You can't. I can't anyway. All right, you guys. Love you all bunches. Thank you, Fort Charles and everybody else up in here. Ham sandwich. Um, but Fort Charles specifically, I'm glad you I'm glad you chimed in. Maybe you actually wrote this post. I don't know. But I I'm going to share it. So thank you so much. All right. You guys have a great day. Love you guys.